Hey, good morning to everybody. So look what we have here now. We have a 2016 Toyota Aqua. Now this episode is gonna be a little interesting because we're gonna change the engine coolant and the hybrid system coolant. Hi. So this happened to be my car. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to change the coolant, either engine and hybrid system. And I'm using this time the motor, right? So you wanna know, stick around and then we will continue that. Hi again. Okay, so before we put the vehicle on the lift, let me show you what are we gonna use. All right. So the hybrid electric auto cool car antifreeze coolant. Okay. Well, this one happens to be my personal opinion and experience working with lots of these vehicles uh, with all my customers. One of the best coolants to use. Although there are many, obviously, if you're using Toyota, you could use the original one, the uh, the original Long Life Toyota. You can use the Xerix, which has the, a nice coolant, also uh, suitable for hybrid. But I like the mod, the the motor, right? So let me just put the vehicle in the lift and start draining coolant from the engine and the hybrid system. So we will continue then. Okay, so obviously before lifting the vehicle. I took out the radiator cap and the hybrid reservoir cap. Now, take a look at my point. You see that pink sugar? That's coming from the original coolant, you know, All right? Which is telling me that in time, not so much about mileage. This vehicle only has about almost 60,000 kilometers. But years, this vehicle 2016, at the end of 2015, yes, it begins to form this sugar that begins to enter the seals. So we have to avoid that at all costs. How? Well, about five years or 100,000 kilometers, depends, it comes first. Now, usually the original coolant is designed to be about 150,000 miles. However, this little sugar over here and this small little gaps between them telling me that that is not so true so i would strongly recommend it to change at least i would say five years or 50 60 000 kilometers probably okay so we will continue then okay as you can see after removing a few screws i'm taking down this the left uh dust cover so i have access to drain this one is to drain the uh, hybrid system. And let me see, we got this one to drain the radiator one. Remember, this is the bottom of the radiator because this one over here in the Toyota Prius, Toyota Prius C, and this one, it's the Aqua, they're the same vehicle. The radiator and the hybrid radiator are just one single unit, but in different the radiator is but the hybrid is below and the normal radiator is on the top so this will be the drain for the engine coolant and this one is the drain for the hybrid system so let me just open it and completely drain it let's continue it now she's not making pee pee <laughs> okay so this one is the hybrid system okay coming directly under the coolant pump all right right a second let's finish to open this uh, well usually I strongly recommend to inspect the sorry inspect the seal of course the seal is in very very good condition so let me finish to drain we'll continue Okay, so we're finishing to drain the radiator one. There we go. Okay. That's it. Yeah, sorry, I made a little disaster here. But um, I'm gonna wait for it to drain. 
take down the vehicle and push it with some pressure air. One other thing, remember that to change the coolant, we are also going to change the coolant in the reservoir. So what I'm going to do, let me see my here with my own hands. Well, I got to take these out anyway. Uh, now with one hand is impossible, so I'm going to have to take that hose out. Okay, so we'll continue then. Okay, so we have coolant draining from the reservoir, from the radiator, and then of course from the lowest part of the hybrid system cooling, which as you can see, it enters down here, and this is the outlet, all right? Let me take it down. We're gonna blow, we're gonna put a lot of pressure to take out everything, to leave it as dry as it gets, and then we will begin to uh, top up with our hybrid coolant from Motu. Motu is not sponsoring my videos, right? Just want to get that straight and clear. But yet still, this is the coolant that I personally like the most for my vehicles. And then of course, recommend it for my customers. So, we will continue that. the moment <laughs> struggling here with the hose okay so after I pressurize the system to completely drain all the coolant I gotta clean on the bottom because I make a disaster spray coolant everywhere and then assemble back okay so after we finish with the small um, draining plugs we need to take out this little clip on the bottom of the water pump you see you see there you go Now this one is going to completely drain all the coolant from inside the engine block assembly. Okay, so let's just wait until it fully drains, assemble back the clip, and we will continue then. So it's been draining for a little while. Let's see how she's doing. Let's see, let me see. But anyways. Almost done. Let me just blow it again with a little pressure air and before assembly back. Let me continue then. Okay, so let's put back in the draining plug. Excuse me, right? This is it. Close my pressure and then let me put the clip. Give me a second. There it is. There you go. You clip are not going anywhere. Hi. <laughs> okay. Now all the plugs. Sorry. All the draining plugs are completely assembled. Let me just assemble back all the covers, take down the vehicles, and we are going to start to top up with brand new Motul hybrid coolant. Okay. We will continue then. Okay, listen up. There is actually no special procedure, no bleeding procedure for this, all right? You just have to wait, let gravity do its job, and that's it. And the same thing happens with the radiator coolant. So the radiator coolant is already top up. The reservoir is ready. So that's the level. Let's see if we can appreciate the level. Right there, that's the full line. Okay, even the hybrid system. But remember that we need to test. Now the very best way to bleed by itself, it's starting the vehicle. Of course, 
the hybrid system cool and pump is gonna start to work and recirculate and bleed by itself just by using gravity and the same thing is gonna happen with the engine so let me just start the vehicle and let's see what happened with the levels okay we'll continue it okay the vehicle starts What happened with the coolant and the hybrid system? Right, let's just let me top it up until it's level. And the radiator, too, of course. So at the moment, both water pumps are working. Let's see. Take a look. Can you see that movement? Let's see if you can appreciate that. There you go. That is the coolant moving inside the reservoir. All right. Let me continue to talk. Let me see. Yes, it's circulating by itself. Let me continue to top it up. Let's give it a chance. I'm not sure if you guys can appreciate that from the camera, but with your eyes, you can clearly see the coolant circulating by itself. So, Jose, how much coolant are we going to use to top up the whole system? Five liters, approximately. This applies to Toyota Aqua, Toyota Prius C, Toyota Fielder, Corolla Axio, Toyota Yaris, Toyota Vids, Toyota Sienta. All right. Well, we could say it's, we could say it's fine. It took exactly five liters. Let me turn off the lights if you can appreciate it. Oh, yes, now you can appreciate this. I'm still pumping anyway the hose just to see if we get by chance some air. And nope, nothing has happened. You can just clearly see the coolant circulating in the system and it's on its level. So, what we're gonna do? Assemble back its cap fully clean i already took up the sugar annoying stuff and the same thing we're gonna do to the radiator there we go and guys so this is the procedure how to properly change the internal combustion engine coolant and the hybrid system coolant Follow and share the channel. Remember, Hybrid Solution Diagnostic is a channel made for you as a hybrid user and then of course as a hybrid technician. So this is just a simple video. I hope you guys like it. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye.